In today's video, we're going to be looking at five websites that every scratcher should know. So starting us off here, if you watch this video, you'll remember Scratch Stats. And that was a great website. It basically showed you all the statistics you needed to know about your own account. And it also showed top scratchers and top projects and stuff like that. But it was using Scratch Database, which is now down. So it doesn't work anymore. And now I've got three alternatives for you. So the first one, as I said, it's called Scratch Views. You can look down, you can see the daily featured projects and these ones are much better than the ones that are actually featured on the actual scratch website which is pretty crazy and then we can hear search by user search by project we also got the user rankings so we can rank through the world and then we also have the regions then we also have countries so for example if I go by world I have Griff Patch first then scratch cap Griff Patch tutor will then then CB but if I go by Europe we'll see Griff Patch again but we can see scratch guys not here and we've got two new people added to the list Tim McCool and atomic magic number also if we go to the next page we should eventually see my own profile so there i am at number 93 so i'm in the top 100 and that's pretty crazy and i just clicked on my profile from there and we can see all my statistics so this is my user id i joined in 2020 on christmas day we got followers we also got my stats so we got the views the loves the faves and we got the love to view ratio we got the follower graph so this started from today because i visited today and we got the activity graph so we can see i was very active in february i got eight projects down in 2021 february and then i kind of fell off you know i had no projects down in january 2020 and then it came back up again as you can see i had constant rise and fall and then i was down for a long while but now i'm back up to posting so you should follow and we also got my projects we got the most viewed which is my world video and you can watch a tutorial for this right here if you haven't and then we got most loved which is also world and then most faved same thing and then we got recent so this is my new projects and we also got best so i guess this is like by the love view ratio and to be honest i don't think this is accurate i don't think this project is my best one or this one or this one but it's still a pretty good website all in all and we also got an explore page since the explore page on scratch is so often broken and bad so here we got like actual cool projects high quality ones like for example we got minecraft 3d which is not on the actual explore page and you can have like actual good categories like games 3d online mobile instead of tutorials where half the tutorials are actually games okay on to the next website it's pretty similar even the layout and the ui is almost the same so this one's is called scratch data we also have the featured projects here which are also pretty cool but the main difference is we also have a featured scratcher section so for example i know of these three scratchers they're pretty good but i haven't heard of this one so let's click on them and yeah this guy's crazy i mean he got he made 3d minecraft fireworks creator sandbox but i've never heard of him so he's actually the seven most loved scratcher in the netherlands too but but i've never heard of him so we can just find a new scratcher this one we can click here on statistics we can see the total projects views loves views favorites and then we got the count age so this is the average view and this is the total views we got the global rank and then the country rank so he's number eight in the netherlands we got the live followers and this is actually pretty cool so we got the project activity and you can see the last six months he's been pretty active but in 2024 he wasn't that active and we also have like average project stats so you can actually look at what you can improve in your project so you can see what the issue is so he almost has the same love to view ratio as mine and you can see the average favorites from project that's pretty crazy average loves and the average views we can also see his recent followers and the recent people he's actually following and then we can just click on them too so for example hobson tv i can click on him and now i'm on his page get a job so the next one you can see it's pretty minimalistic but it has all the important data you need so for example let me just put my own username in and we can see all my projects the ranking most favorite ones and then we can also see some other stuff so for example we can see my most viewed one was the average the average loves how many studios i curate how many i manage and this is also stuff that's not available on the other two but the ui and the website itself is pretty crude so be warned it's still pretty cool though it's called hans5958.github.io okay so let me paint a picture for you have you ever wanted to get some pictures of some scratch blocks i bet you did well there's a problem because you can't export the image 
image of the actual scratch blocks and when you try to take a screenshot it's going to be blurry there's going to be like a background which you don't want so you should use this website instead so for example over here i'm going to just put a simple code so for example when green flag clicked and you can see that converted here and then we can also do some other stuff like for example move 10 steps and that converts too and we can export this as an svg or a png we can also have scratch 2.0 look how cool that is and we can also have scratch 3.0 but the high contrast version which everyone hates so now for the last one i've got another cool kind of stats website so it's called project explorer version 1.5.4 and then, for example, let me enter project URL and we can see all the info. So the code in every sprite and the stage, render clock, thumbnail. So for example, I can see I had the most code in this one. So I had 92 blocks of code and I also have one comment. We can see the costumes. So I actually had no costumes. That's pretty cool, right? It was a 100% pen project. You also have sound, which I don't have any. I actually do. So I'll have like a pop sound. And then yeah, this is just all the info about the project. You can do this for any project, just put the link in. And if you want to see five more websites that all scratchers should know, then click on that.